we are going to continue with uh, the fourth item of cost or the fourth uh, classification of cost which is average total cost alternatively called average cost so ATC stands for average total cost or average cost AC you can call it either ways it is accepted okay so average cost simply refers to the expense that we incur on each unit of output what you spend to produce single or individual units of output we give an example if you are producing 10 of these pens and it costs you 1000 francs to produce the 10 pens what is the cost you incur to produce each pen the cost of each pen is going to be 1000 francs that is the total cost of the pens divided by the 10 pence that will give you a hundred francs that will be your cost you incur on each pen so that is what average total cost is so we calculate average total cost in two ways firstly we can take total cost divided by output that will give us our average total cost but what if you are given averages if you are not given any total cost you are not given any output how do you get to know your average total cost or your average cost it is very simple if you are given average variable cost and average fixed cost you simply add them up and it will give you your average total cost that is to say you are given average fixed cost to be 10 average variable cost to be 5 it will be so simple to get your average total cost. We simply sum them up. We simply take average fixed cost plus average variable cost to give us our average total cost. So in case you, you find a question where they have not given you total cost and output, you rather have averages, you just sum them up. So this means that we can also get average total cost or average cost by summing average variable cost plus average total cost. So if that were to be the case, let's suppose this is a question, you would have said that the average total cost is equal to 10 plus 5. That's average fixed cost plus average variable cost, which will give you 15 francs. If it is in francs here. Okay. So average total cost is a very significant concept as far as this cost concept is concerned it is very very important why because average total cost tells us about some two important concepts in economics we have the idea of economies of scale and then we have this economies of scale without the use of average cost we cannot properly illustrate the situation or a situation where a firm is facing economies of scale facing these economies of scale or even its technical optimum output level. So this is how it is illustrated diagrammatically. Okay, so we have um, a typical diagram of our average average cost or we call it the average cost curve or the average total cost curve. And as I said, it is a very significant concept of cost because it illustrates the idea of economies of scale and this economies of scale as well as what we call the technical optimum output of a firm. So we have the falling axis or the falling portion of the average total cost curve indicates that this firm is enjoying economies of scale. I'm going to divide this in the middle. The lowest point shows that the firm is at its lowest cost. The firm is producing at its lowest cost. And we call this point the technical optimum output of a firm, denoted by Q star here, the technical optimum output of a firm. So to the left of the technical optimum output, to the left, we have economies of skill. And then to the right, we have these economies of scale. 
Why do we call this section economies of scale? Simply because as output produced increases, average cost falls. When we produce more, our average cost, that is cost per unit of output, falls as we produce more. And then, when we reach the technical optimum output at Kyostar, and we do not stop there, if we want to produce further away from Kyostar, you realize that your cost of production will begin to rise. Your average total cost scale begins to rise as you produce more. So we conclude that these economies of scale are set in. So this is economies of scale. This is this economies of scale and we have the technical optimum output.